Hey everyone, in this uh, 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how assign message policy, copy, API elements, functionality works. Prerequisites for this video, you need an Apache Edge account, you can sign up at apache.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of Apache API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's take a use case here to explain how assign message policy, copy element works. Let's say whenever a request comes to Apache Edge and uh, before you are sending the request to backend, you want to extract some information from the request and also copy that information to form a new request object that will be sent to some other target system. And you can also able to do similar thing in the response also and extract the information from response or copy the information from the response and construct a new response object. You can copy the elements using SMSS policy. Let's see it in action. Let's say you have a backend system uh, which you are trying to proxy like HTTP bin.org slash get. But whenever a request comes to Apache API proxy, you want to copy the information from the request and construct a new request object. And then call API something like Google Books API and then uh, get the response and do something with that. Let's see how to construct a new request object or response object by copying elements in Apache Edge. To see that in action, uh, navigate to API proxies and uh, click on uh, Plex proxy button. Once in the proxy uh, creation screen, uh, click on reverse proxy, choose next. I'm going to name my proxy as ascend message uh, copy demo, then slash v1 slash assign message copy. So I'm going to use the backend as uh, HTTP bin dot org slash get and then choose as a pass through build and deploy. Once proxy is deployed and navigate to uh, develop screen. Uh, as you can see here I have an API using which I can able to make an HTTP call. Let's say I'm sending a query parameter q is equal to node.js and then I want to extract this query parameter and construct a new request object and then call Google API's uh, endpoint before the request goes to HTTP bin uh, API. Let's see how to do that. So I'm in dollop. So I'm going to use SMSS policy to construct uh, a new request object by copying elements. So I'm going to use assign message policy. So I'm going to remove everything uh, except uh, copy. As you can see here, I'm going to copy uh, uh, the information from request. So I'm going to copy only query parameters. So I'm going to say query parameters. So I'm going to copy uh, the query param Q. So I will say query param name is equal to Q. So I'm going to copy this request uh, element. I'm going to construct a new object. So I'm going to say assign to create a new object. I'm going to say it as new object as Google Books request. So I have constructed a new request object and then try to use this object to make an API call to Google Books. So I'm going to attach uh, a service caller policy using which I can able to make an API call to some other target. I'm going to give the target endpoint as uh, slash volumes. Uh, as you can see here, I'm not giving any query parameter. And I'm going to take this request, newly constructed request, I'm going to give it to this particular service caller request. So what I'm doing is basically I am constructing a new request object by copying the elements from original request and then giving it a service call out uh, policy to make an API call to Google Books before hitting the HTTP bin target. Let's see it in action. Click on save. So navigate to trace, start trace session. So I'm going to make an API call to Q is equal to node.js. As you can see here, uh, the assign message policy executed and uh, we have made an API call to uh, Google Books API and we got the books related to Node.js. So how was it possible? So we have constructed a new request object by copying the elements from original request and making a service call out. So that's how assign message policy copying elements works from original request or any other request object. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in community.apache.com. Please subscribe to YouTube channel to get notified and thank you for watching this video.